Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today I'm going to be sharing with you swatches and a try on of the new I Heart Revolution Creme Brulee palette. I'm so, so excited by that palette because it looks like it's got all of the shades I absolutely love. Now I've picked up a few other items that I'm going to be sharing with you next week that I'm not going to share with you now but I did pick up, well I made a little haul on the revolutionbeauty.com site. Um, I also, because I know I'm going to get questions about it I, because I usually do, how come you got it so quickly? On the revolutionbeauty.com com site they've now got an option for next day delivery by dpd i paid two pounds 95 which i thought was very reasonable and um, yeah that's why i've got it next day so really pleased about that so i'm going to be sharing with you the creme brulee palette a few other items i'll be sharing with you a review of each one of those next week i also picked up another one well i say picked up i didn't pick up the first one it was just sent to me but i thought such a great cause um, and such a heartfelt message by Adaminto, I'm gonna have to pick one up myself. So it's the I Heart Revolution Inspired by Love Triple Baked Highlighter. So I purchased this one myself for five pounds and one pound of that uh, payment will then be sent to Marie Curie. I love this, I'm wearing it today. I've toned it down a little bit. Um, which I often do just go over the top of it with um, my foundation brush that I use today and it gives me this lip from within look um, and this is the packaging and I went in with the gold shade which is very wearable you can use it obviously on your cheeks you can use it on your face as a highlighter obviously any one of those shades and you can use it as well perhaps a highlighter bronzer depending on your skin tone and of course you can use it as eyeshadow as well so I had to purchase one of those not only that I absolutely love it anyway so that's that one and then I picked up this now on the website they are still having their sale so there's lots and lots of brushes on there and I love this even if I don't use it it looks stunning it looks beautiful and um, this is the rose powder brush and it looks like this and it's four pounds fifty I think originally this was fifteen pounds so I've picked this up for £4.50. They had loads and loads of brushes on there. They, I nearly actually picked up another one of these. They've got my fantastic favourite flex brush for £3. I think there's one on there that's more angular and that is again £3. I think that's more of a brush, con um, blush contour brush. Um, but I nearly picked up those but I thought no. I'm gonna go for the pretty and I picked up another well the original was sent to me but I picked up another one and paid for that myself okay like I say I did order more um, but it's all here ready to be shared with you next week but of course the star of the show has to be the I Heart Revolution creme brulee palette so let's get into that I didn't actually order the sprinkles I think it's called sprinkles but it's the one with the sprinkles just because it's very bright and I don't wear a lot of bright eyeshadow so you know obviously if Revolution want to send it to me that's great if they do but if I'm making a purchase then obviously I just go for palettes that I know I'm going to wear and I know I'm going to wear this one obviously you can tell I love yellow so this is the packaging love yellow love everything about yellow also because i showed you that brush i just wanted to say go and check out their sale products they've got some amazing deals on okay so let's look at, um at the packaging so you're getting yellow and i think it's brown stripes with creme brulee and of course i heart revolution you've also got a little bit of a picture there of the palette itself and you've got a window there that you can see that gorgeous palette now of course you're getting 18 pounds which is standard for these palettes at 0.035 ounces or one gram of product turning it over and in fact you get i heart revolution is it no creme brulee sorry <laughs> i can't read can't read today creme brulee there there I heart revolution there and I heart revolution there turning it over you get I heart revolution there 
creme brulee, of course, and then that it's a shadow palette, 18 shades of intense pressed pigments. You also have the ingredients there, along with the layout of the palette, and this one is cruelty free. So that's the packaging. Now let's have a look at the actual product. So this is your colorways with this one. You're getting your regular chocolate chunks with the drips there. Um, and then this part of the palette is, I suppose, like a little bit brighter than creme brulee, but it's like a yellow anyway. And then turning it over, you've got yellow followed through onto the base, along with that sticker. Mine's a little bit wonky. Obviously this was rushed, <laughs> but you know, it's fine. So that obviously gives you the same information, how many shades you've got in here, weight, that it's cruelty free, and obviously all of the names. Now inside, you do get one of those nasty sheets, but you know, it's fine. I'm gonna forgive them because the name or the names are on the palette beside the shades. You also get a big mirror. And then this is the shades, or these are the shades that you're going to get. So here you are. Let me just see if I can get it as close as I can. So there's all of your shades. Now, if you, like me, love yellow, you're gonna love this one. Not only do you get yellow, you've got orange in here. Oh, it looks so beautiful. You get that um, chilled shade that, I don't know why, I'm thinking orchid. Thinking orchid. I don't know if it's there's a similar shade called orchid in another palette but that one is reminding me of that. Is it in one of the, oh, anyway, I can't remember, but it's reminding me of another shade called Orchid. Um, there's oh, a beautiful shade called Demerara. I love it. There's only one shade that I'm, I, I think is a little bit of a wasted kind of thing, but that's just me. And that is that matte white there. I'm just not a big fan of a matte white. Matte cream, yeah, matte white, no. Yeah, I prefer, you know, cream if I'm gonna use it. But that's just on first appearances. So, oh, I wanted to also show you this. I knew there was something else that I ordered um, and I've got the swatch on my arm ready. The lipstick that I'm wearing is one that I picked up as well in my haul and it's one of their new Revolution matte lipsticks and like I say it's the one that I'm wearing and yes I managed to pick up Muse. You can't get it at Superdrug, you can only pick this one up at revolutionbeauty.com. I do have um, the, I'm saying soft matte lip cream but that's NYX but you know that version that Revolution makes and it is in this shade but this is the lipstick. Oh it's beautiful and it's got a yellow undertone, like a yellow orangey undertone, so it works beautifully with yellow um, eyeshadow, yellow and orange. Let's get into the swatches. It has a faint smell. I can smell something very sweet. Um, creme brulee, I'm not a big fan of eating it. Um, but it does smell a little bit sweet. It also smells like I can smell the palette, you know, um, plastic. So it's a little bit of a mix there of something sweet, but also a little bit plasticky as well, which is obviously the case because the palette is plastic. Right, let's get into the swatches and I'm so excited by this palette. So I think I'm gonna wipe off the lipstick now. I'll just give you another little look, Muse. And let's get into this. Oh, love the look of this. Oh, I think I'll swatch the whole first row and then obviously we'll go through it. Oh, wow, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I wasn't expecting the beauty of that either from looking at it in the palette. I'm nearly going all the way around my arm with these swatches. That is beautiful. This one may not swatch that well, just because it's white. Okay, this is your first row. So this is a beautiful shade called Custard. I love that because it's, you need one of those shades to put on your inner corner, or if you want a spotlight look, that is gonna be perfect for that. 
can you believe how well that swatch that one is i think it's dulce or dulce yeah dulce 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 i'm not sure um and that is your matte brown we then have this one oh my goodness blow torch oh that is gorgeous love that shimmer then we have a beautiful yellow shimmer called demerara we then have that matte white called dust and then we have this beautiful oh i don't really know how to explain it it's very unusual and it's called sweeten it's not orange it's not red oh i don't know it's unusual and beautiful love it let's go into the second row um i think i'm going to follow on actually oh that's swatched beautifully oh so did that okay loving the how the mats are swatching in here and even the yellow wow okay gonna have to go up here now right now we are starting off with this one here so this nude shade called brulee we then have this one which is again matte and it's called a vanilla pod we have this beautiful and it's swatched so so well yellow called yolk and then we have this purple called burnt it didn't swatch particularly well i'm just going to go over that it might just be where i've put it um not terribly well swatched um not necessarily by me but it just didn't swatch particularly well it faded quite a lot obviously swatches they're only for color reference really um sometimes they swatch great sometimes they don't but it is obviously how they appear on the eye that matters then we have flambe which is this beautiful matte orange and then we have this shade called torch with which is a navy shimmer again didn't really swatch that swatch that well no again it didn't swatch that well i do find a lot of palettes these days um and you know i would have preferred there not to be a navy in here or a blue i do find that a lot of companies now it's not just revolution i heart revolution they just you you have these beautiful color stories and then you have this odd like blue shade just put in there for good measure so i could have done without that torch shade and to be honest i'm not it's not i don't know it's it's a weird shade because it's not particularly shimmery but it's not matte either it's like a velvet but it's more shimmery than a velvet strange but anyway um we'll move on to the third and last row oh now that is beautiful oh that is that is stunning as well that is unexpected I wish palettes had easier um, pronunciations if I do pronounce anything incorrectly apologies but um, I don't often come across these words so here we go again so we've got that purple and it it really does remind me of the shade orchid is it Maxine Schka's palette I think it even swatches like it anyway it's that one there Muscovado is this one here absolutely beautiful shade this one was a real surprise this one looks like um I don't know like a pinky brown but in the palette it looks near enough cool brown so that was a real surprise then we have this shade which is a matte cream set um, that's what it's called set and then we have melting which is a, a matte brown and then we have a matte yellow called cam caramelized that one there so you've really got a good mix of shades in there the only one that i'm not 100 percent on is that white but you know it could come in handy if you 
use white but for me I will more than likely use the, the shade the cream shade called set that is probably more you know a shade that I will use but obviously they've got to put shades in there that everybody can use it it, it wasn't designed just for me <laughs> okay so I have applied all of my base my brows uh, my lip product all of that good stuff so now we're going to test the palette out what am I going to go in with? I think I'm going to start off with a brulee, which is second row, first shade, that one there. So lay down a base and see where it goes. Of course, I'm using a Primark eye contour brush and I have applied the Revolution Pro Eye Element in Central. So here we go. That is perfect. Blends out really, really nicely. I'm just gonna see if I can take that up a little bit there. Love, love, love that color. I've got so many products in front of me to share with you. Um, so many releases. I thought I'm going to share this one with you straight away. Um, I know I'm halfway through Revolution Pro, but like I say, there's so many new releases at the moment. But I know that these um, chocolate bar palettes are just so popular. So I thought I'm going to have to have to share this one with you first of all, and then continue with I Heart No Revolution Pro. Just deepening that up a little bit. Absolutely love the colour of that. In the pan, I thought that was going to be more like a lot of the shades that they release with, you know, as their base shade. But no, it's got a little bit of a um, yellow undertone. So, you know, beautiful. Love that. Now, I'm definitely going to have to incorporate yolk and caramelized in here so I think I'm going to go in with yolk which is that yellow shade here okay so it's the brightest yellow so I'm going to use yellow as my base and then go in with another colour. Really like that. I mean obviously because I love yellow. I'm obsessed. So not fully going over the whole of what I laid down first of all. And then I'm going to go into caramelise which is this shade here. So that grungy <laughs> shade, which I love. So I'm keeping that quite low. That actually is brighter than what I expected. I expected that to be much more of an orangey yellow, but it's turned out to be, you know, like a full on sun yellow. I'm going to just add a little bit of flambe in there, which is that one there. It's the orange, just because it's, I don't know. I wasn't expecting Caramelize to be that yellow. That's better. Flambe is much more of what I expected it to be, like a deeper yellow. I'm gonna add, as always, I'm adding a number of shades so that you can see how they work together. I much prefer, I thought I was going to love that caramelized shade just because it's like a mustard yellow but it actually isn't. It's much brighter than that on the eye. Flambe is much more of the shade that I will be would be interested in. In fact I'm going to put flambe underneath the eye here and you'll see what I mean it's much more of a 
like a, it comes off like a grungy yellow whereas caramelized is much more of a bright yellow oh I'm in love with that shade. I could have pots and pots and pots of that flambe colour. I'm finding it, um, finding that a lot actually with a lot of revolution across the board. Their eyeshadow palettes, um, a lot of them look a certain way in the pan, then on the eye they look different. But this is all yellow. Oh, I'm obsessed. I love this. Well, I wouldn't. I love yellow. I'm obsessed with yellow. Now, I did have something in mind as to what I was going to do. I really wanted to incorporate blowtorch in there, but I've got to do, got to do, if I can speak, something a little bit um, deeper in the. I don't know whether to go purple, which is that burnt shade. Let me just show you, burnt, which is that one there. Yeah, I think I'm going to do purple and see how that looks on the eye with yellow. Hmm. I don't, that colour burnt. It's got no pigmentation I'm really digging into that one that is disappointing let me bring my mirror a little bit I'm really digging in hmm. getting a little bit of pigmentation there but boy have I had to dig in to the colour. It's gone onto the brush but not on the eye. That is strange. Perhaps it's just a dry top layer. Hmm. You really have to dig into that shade. I mean in the mirror it looks good. When I mix purple with yellow, it makes a brown, which is absolutely stunning. So great choice of color, but this is very unusual for revolution. Um, it's certainly, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there with the pigmentation. I'm not even blending it out. I'm just literally stamping it on. I think that's okay. I've got a lot of pigment now on the brush, but it's still not really. As pigmented as what I want. Actually, it looks okay. And the pigments come off the brush. So it's definitely on my eye. I was just expecting more from it because it's such a beautiful shade but you know it's okay but I have dug into a lot of the um, product but I really love that purple yellow combination okay I'm just going to put the brush down because I was looking to use this blowtorch color but I don't know whether to use it now because look how green it is I don't know or should I because green and purple looks beautiful together Right, let's go in with Blowtorch, which is this one here. And you'll see, even though I've dug into that purple, and boy, I dug into it, I went in about seven times, um, there's no fallout, just quite a big dip in the product. So obviously do bear that in mind. Um, so let's put on this and see what happens. So this is the colour Blowtorch. just gorgeous when you um, swatch it on your finger it feels soft buttery everything that you want from you know an eyeshadow that is just stunning I'm just going to pat it over that purple shade so that we've got a little bit of a nice mix there 
Now usually I don't um, go in for bright eyeshadow looks. I really like neutral, but this is not bright, but it's something a little bit different as well. And not only is it different, it shows that, you know, perhaps you may have looked at this palette and thought, mm, how am I going to incorporate the purple? How am I going to incorporate the yellow? Well, yeah, well, I definitely have, well, I hope that you think that I've made it work. I'm just going to deepen up that purple. Now, now I've got a good base with it. It's going on really, really nicely. Perhaps it was just a very hard top layer but ah oh, I am obsessed with this eye look that is absolutely beautiful it's different um, I know a lot of you may say well how am I going to use a lot of the yellows in there um, I've used all of the yellows I will go into that at the end there I'm just going to add a little bit of eyeliner which of course is the revolution smoky waterproof gel liner which as always needs a sharpen shade blowtorch and that purple shade that is beautiful I think this is one of the nicest most I don't know it's one of the I haven't even put any um, inner corner highlight on have I I'm blown away by um, that shade on the lid I'm going to go in with this brush which is the 250 pencil and powder smudge brush Pointed. I'm going to go in with Demerara, which is this one here, right beside Blowtorch. When I looked at Blowtorch, I thought, oh, that's a nice charcoal colour. That's what it looks like in the pan. It looks charcoal. Oh, Demerara. That is stunning okay that is just gorgeous oh love that yellow oh, oh my word obsessed okay now I'm going to put the mascara on of course, it's the Mascara Revolution. Can't stop looking at my lid. And then I'll give you a little bit of a review okay so that is my eye look i must admit that it's one of the nicest eye looks that i have done in a long while you know when you do an eye look and you think wow i was not expecting that to come from that palette but oh, gorgeous okay now for my review so first of all i'm going to talk about the color combination on the palette because i know that we've had palettes from this range before where i personally didn't think that they matched there was one in particular and i can't remember which one it was i think it was one of the christmas collections um, and it didn't the outside didn't match the inside i really think that they got it right here although i do think this color could be a little bit more orange you know like creme brulee that sheet is already annoying me that's going in the bin um, so yeah I think this does reflect creme brulee but this needs to be a little bit more orangey um, the colors in the palette oh I knew I was gonna like this and when I saw this first um, appear on the website yesterday um, I looked at both palettes and I thought 
I'm definitely getting this one. The colour story in here is beautiful. However, I think that they could certainly have added something else in, instead of a white. For me personally, just because I don't use those shades. Um, and is there anything else that I could... Yeah, Torched. I knew there was another one. This Navy Shimmer. It's not really a shimmer and it's not really a velvet and it feels quite dry. You can see on the swatch, I think it's this one, there, it feels how it swatched this time. Sometimes swatches, I don't know, you know you can get a feel of the um, of eyeshadow. This one feels really dry and there's no shimmer to it, even though in the pan, I can see that it's a shimmer. So for this, um, this one here and the white, I would have preferred to have had more of the yellows or oranges, um, you know, that kind of thing, because the colour story is so beautiful. I'm not, I'm disappointed also with this shade because again, I feel this is a shade that is being duped from a, um, you know, Maxine Sugars, her orchid shade. As soon as I saw her, I even said in my head, that's orchid. And, and then I thought, no, it's chilled. Um, but it is, it, it seems to me that that is a dupe. If you're going to put colours into a, um, you know, a palette like Maxine Sugars, for example, then perhaps that needs to be just a shade that you use for that particular palette. Um, and not put it in other palettes. It's a beautiful shade and I think purple really works well with this palette. Um, but I don't know, I just feel that, you know, when you put these, um, when two um, people work on a collaboration, so in this case, Max Maxine Schka and um, Revolution, that needs to be just for them, if you see what I mean. I, I don't know, I just feel that I don't know. I just don't particularly think that that is fair, but you know, it does work in this palette. Not used it today, but I absolutely love the color story and I love, love, love my eye look. I think it's absolutely stunning. Um, now I often say that I'm not a big fan of color, but when it works, it works. Um, and this works. So there's, it's not, what I don't like is I'm not a big fan of sunset eyes because I just think it's so easy to put a yellow, then an orange and then a red. And for me, I'm not a big fan of that look together. It's just my preference, but I love yellow and I think yellow and purple together looks beautiful. And so does purple and green. Um, and it works absolutely stunningly. So this palette, even though I'm disappointed because I feel that that white is a wasted shade, I think that navy also, I'm gonna to have to test it out, but I'm not that keen on it. It just feels very dry and there's not much sheen, or there's a sheen to it, but not a shimmer. And this one I feel is a dupe for Orchid, which is from Revolution, but you know, it's the same brand, let's face it. Um, Apart from that, I'm still going to rate this um, as a five out of five because I love it so, so much. And it's not just because it's a yellow palette. I love it because the shades that I've used today have given me a beautiful eye look that I am obsessed with. So I've got colour on my eyes, but I don't feel like it's so bright that because I do like classic, that is just my taste. Um, but this seems classic to me, but it's edging on, you know, colour. So, yeah, really, really love it. I'd love your thought, love to hear your thoughts. Okay, so that's everything that I wanted to share with you today. Um, I'll leave you with just the swatches. I'll show you those again. So there are all of your swatches. So I'd love for you to let me know your thoughts on the colour story, my eye look. Um, are you picking it up? Have you picked it up? And are you as excited about the colour story as I am? The palette retails for £8.99. You can, at the moment, I think, just pick it up from revolutionbeauty.com. That's where I picked it up from. I haven't checked Superdrug today. I will, and if it's available there, I'll obviously have the link available down below for you. Um, also, if you have just stumbled across my channel, I would love it if you subscribed to watch further videos. Um, but as always, um, is it as always until tomorrow? 
I'm going to have to see. I think it is. Yeah, I think I'm losing track of what day it is. It's been such an exciting week for makeup. So until tomorrow, thank you very, very much. I can't speak now. Thank you so, so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.